Hi, my name is Jyotikam Lotra and I'm an advocate at Dial Easy. In the last video, I spoke about the introduction of international law. Now, I'll be telling you the merits and demerits of international law. The merits are, first, state's interest protection. It can be said without a doubt that international laws have protected the interests of states, especially of those which have no power to protect their own interests. For example, the World Food Program, a part of the United Nations, which is a subject of international law, is a large humanitarian agency which fights hunger worldwide and delivers food assistance in case of emergencies. <laughs> Second, human being welfare. It has played a vital role in the welfare of human beings. For example, there are various international treaties for the promotion of fundamental human rights, justice and equality, like the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Third, unity and strength. This law has brought unity among different nations and states as no, one's, as no one state can be separated from the other. Every state has become the need of the other one. For example, the problem of global warming. Every country emits greenhouse gases which is further contributing to global warming and the impact of the same will be felt by all the countries. So, no country can combat global warming alone and will need international laws and cooperation to curb the problem. The demands are, first, no apparent authority. There is no authority for the enforcement of the law. Only the International Court of Justice is present, but it can't cert settle certain matters. Moreover, once a decision is given by it, there is no such power or authority which can get it enforced. Second, no legislative machinery. As the international laws are based on treaties and conventions, they are interpreted by states according to their self-interests. Third, lack of effective sanctions. There is no fear of sanctions which has resulted in laws being violated frequently by the states. Fourth, inability to intervene. According to Article 27 of UNO Charter, UNO cannot interfere in the domestic matters of the states. It has been seen in such situations, international laws are ineffective and weak. Now, be winding up this video, and if any of you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section. Thank you.